Hello, my name is Scott Reggie. I am the Western Regional Sales Manager for Symmetrics, and I'm happy to be here today to talk to you about a really cool control system called ArcWeb. Now, ArcWeb is feature rich, and it allows you wireless capability to control your system, but maybe the best feature about ArcWeb is it's absolutely free. It's freeware, folks. It's at your fingertips. You can use it as a standalone primary control system or you can use it as an enhancer and it can be used in conjunction with any of our other controls, ARCs, the W series, or our touchscreen controls, ARC5, or excuse me, T5 and T5 glass, as well as third-party controls. Also note, when I'm using it in conjunction with even third-party controls, everything will track together. Everything stays in sync. So it's a really great uh, control system. It's free of charge and it's easy to configure. Another thing about ArcWeb is it's not just for users controlling their audio system. It's for administrators, AV people, uh, or IT people who are in charge of the AV systems can have a, um, a wireless application that can show diagnostics as well as metering. Every channel, whether it be Dante, if you have a Dante-based product, 64 by 64 Dante channels all have associated metering. Uh, every input and output has metering. So anywhere I am in my facility, if I'm a network manager or an I, or a, a AV guy, I can look at my phone or my tablet and I can get read back, uh, feedback on what's going on with my system. So it's a control system. It's also a monitoring system if you would like to use it that way. So very easy to use, very easy to control, very feature risk, and the best part, there's no cost whatsoever. And remember, Every one of our DSPs, whether it's the Zone Mix, the Jupiter, or any of our composer-based products, Radius, Edge, Prism, or Solus, all have web servers built in. And so all of them can utilize for free ArcWeb at any time. So please consider ArcWeb, and let's take a little deeper dive and look at some PowerPoint slides, and then we'll actually go in and program in our composer-based software. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to take you through a quick PowerPoint presentation and then we'll actually open up the software and program some ArcWeb uh, applications. So I think that would be pretty cool. We're actually going to add ArcWeb to an application that I programmed, uh, some software I programmed for a W series uh, video as well. So we're going to add on to that, which is very common using ArcWeb in conjunction with another control uh, system as well. So we're going to uh, walk through that right now. As you can see from this slide, BYOD, bring your own device. That's something that's up and coming, especially the younger generations want to have control on their iPhones or their tablets. We do understand that there's users who would rather have an appliance or a touchscreen, and we're fully on board with that. That's why we offer a variety of controls for your customers, for you and your customers, to be able to choose the right control for their environment, and in a lot of cases, using multiple controls in conjunction with each other. One thing I do want to strongly communicate is I believe that Symmetrics is really the only one doing this. So that's a huge advantage for us, and it's a huge um, opportunity for customers to, to build in really robust control at no cost. So uh, whether it's iPhone or Android or, or a smartphone or a tablet, we have um, a web server built in every one of our DSPs and they can, they're accessible by uh, any remote device that you have. You can see from this uh, slide that the menus are extremely easy and intuitive. What you're looking at here is volume and you can see up and down arrows and it's at negative 3 dB and I can turn the volume up and down with those arrows. I could text where it says music and that source select it will be able to scroll through the various sources with the arrows and you can then select what source you like and then turn up or down the volume for that source. So really easy to use, uh, very intuitive, very easy to program as well. They are completely browser-based. I think this is very important. Um, if you develop towards app with apps, that's uh, obviously a, a viable way to uh, to develop. But you're at the mercy of the iPhones changing and the app requirements changing. Whereas if we uh, build directly uh, to our web server and you are allowed to program via the web server, then whatever version of phone that you have or tablet that you have should still uh, function properly. It simply needs 
needs to connect to the web address and be able to have an open browser. So, and then also if you need to change the programming, you would just simply change the programming inside of your DSP and then anyone who accesses that um, will take advantage of the new updated control. So really easy and flexible to use. Now, the other thing, and I've spent most of my time so far talking about control in customer-based applications. One thing that we also want to stress here is that for the administrators, the AV guys, the IT guys who are in charge of either a room or multiple uh, rooms, uh, whether it be in the corporate environment, um, or maybe uh, convention centers, hospitality, restaurants, bars, etc. If you have a person that's in charge of it, a technical person, uh, we can give you uh, menus, we can give you diagnostic information on every one of these uh, web servers. You have an option to hit diagnostics or metering, and you can have a live metering. A live meter for every input and output that goes into that DSP. They all have 64 by 64 Dante chips except for the Solus. You literally have 128 uh, meters for Dante and then depending on the DSP that you have, you have corresponding meters for all your inputs and outputs. So at your fingertips for free with no programming, you have access to all the metering and all the diagnostic information that we can provide you. Very cool. The way this works is you simply uh, point your iPhone to the web address. Uh, most people are connecting wireless through an access point or a wireless router, uh, which is tied into a switch. And then also your DSP uh, is also connected to that same switch. So you simply enter your IP address. You can do that one time and create an icon on your phone. So the next time going back, you just have to click the icon. It will take you there if you have password protected system then you just enter your password and then you can control the system in this case it looks like we're controlling speaker volume for the people uh, at the conference table so really easy to do and uh, functional for everybody and again just want to stress it this works in all of our dsps whether it's our fixed architecture uh, products the zone mix and the jupiter or any of our composer based products um, the arc web functions identically in all cases a lot of people, uh, I fear, kind of associate uh, products like ArcWeb and ArcWeb in particular with lower end applications. And I'm just here to tell you that's fundamentally not true. We see ArcWeb going into a wide variety of applications. Here's a really high end install at the Soho Grand Hotel in New York City. And um, they're using both Arc and ArcWeb with our Radius. And so they're using two different control systems to give them maximum control and maximum diversity of what they need. So their waiters and bar staff could be out at a table in a particular zone and the, the customers may want the music turned up and up or down. They can then be in that zone, pull out their iPhone, turn that music up or down, get the customer's feedback in real time. They can hear it in real time and say, and, you know, this is an appropriate volume. We're okay and we move on. It's so much easier than having to go back to the general manager's office and then turn it up a little bit and then come back out and check the customer. So it really is an advantage for people who take uh, advantage of this product. And this is just wrapping it up where the manager uh, says that this is a game changer for them. And this is, again, a very high-end uh, restaurant in Soho. So whether your uh, budget is constrained or you just like the flexibility of it, we have eliminated barriers of entry because we're taking budget out of this or cost out of this. And we're enhancing the experience by giving you fingertip control um, with your phone or tablet. So with that, let's just take a quick look at how to program Arc Web. Stay tuned. Okay, we're in Composer software and we're going to program two separate instances of Arc Web. Remember, you can also use this in Jupyter and Zone Mix as well. Today, we're again, we are focused on uh, Composer. So in this case, we have a Radius 4x4. And this is a, an existing design that we did. Uh, I did a video on this with uh, programming uh, W1 remotes and a pub. We have the main pub and the patio. And today what we're going to do is pretty common. We're going to add an instance of ArcWeb for the pub and then another one for the patio. So we're going to have kind of redundant control systems for each. We'll have a hardwired W uh, controller on the wall. And then the weights and bar staff and bartenders can have ArcWebs uh, in both zones. 
So the way you program an arc web is really similar to how you program our arcs in our W series. One thing you can do to get started is go to tools and remote control manager. I always um, recommend starting there. It comes with four instances of arc webs per DSP, so you can see all four. If I double click on the first one, I can do a couple things here. I can label, which is very important. So we're going to just label this pub. And that's the main pub. I need to enable this arc web. If I don't do it here, I can do it in, in the menu when we're actually programming it. It will say disabled, would you like to enable? But you can always just tee that up right here as well. We're not gonna put security in today, but if you wanna add security, just add a username and password uh, right here, and that's how you would uh, put the security in. And so today we're gonna label and we're going to uh, enable. Label and enable. So that one's done, and then let's go to the second one because we're gonna put one on the patio as well. And then let's enable this one, and that's all we're going to do here as well. So now we've uh, labeled uh, our two zones, and then we've enabled those as well. So let's just go ahead and click there and go into our design. So let me just walk you through what we're doing here as well. Uh, we have a radius 4x4, four four, so we have four inputs. Let's assume there are four different genres of music being streamed in by music streamers. And those are wired into our input selector uh, block. So the way this block works is whatever source is selected, in this case it will be jazz, that will be sent to the output and then routed to, in this case, a gain um, block where we have two zones and we have this wired up for the patio and the pub, which then passes that to the outputs, which are obviously connected to amplifiers and then speakers. So let's open this block up as well. So as you can see, we've already programmed the W1s. You can see control numbers already uh, uh, labeled here. That is okay. And in fact, you're going to see it helps it make this even more intuitive. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the pub arc web. Uh, and we're going to add source select and volume capabilities. So again, we do this the same way. I'm just going to right click on this fader. This fader is what allows the W1 to control the source select. I right click on that. I hit set up remote control. Now it found the arc web and it also, it knows that uh, there's already a, a, an assigned control number and asked me do I want to use the previously assigned control number. The answer is I do and this is important because when I turn the volume up or down with arc web or the W1, the other will track. So if I turn it up with the, with the W1, it will track with my arc and vice versa. So it already understands you probably want that same control number and you just click OK. We're done. You simply go to the pub's uh, volume control which is here. Same thing, right click, set up remote control. It already found the pub arc web. It already assumes that I want the second, the existing control number. So I say OK. All right, now let's program the patio. Same thing, very simple to do. I'm gonna right click on the fader so I can control volume. I'm going to go to the patio, which is right here. Again, hey, you've already used control number three. Let's use that again, it works for me. That's, con that's configured. Now I wanna do the mute. Right click on the mute, set up remote control. I want to go to the patio, I want to use the previously assigned control number, and I want to say OK. So there you go. Those are all programmed. Let's go do some house cleaning though. Let's go back up to tools. Let's go back up to remote control manager. And let's make this a little more customer friendly. So we can do labeling and we can enable, we've already enabled them. These are already labeled because it took them off my source selector. But I don't like input here. I would rather have this be music. Oh shoot, I got cap locks on. Music, and that's all I really need to do. So save, and now you can see music. Gain, let's just change that, I don't like that either. Let's just call that volume. And then same thing over here. We could put patio volume, but you're already in the patio uh, control screen, so you, it's 
pretty intuitive already. And then I just mute's fine. I don't. We don't need mute two because again, mute two indi mute two indicates it's the second channel on that gain block. We're already programming this only for the patio, so we know that's mute for the patio. So now your arc webs will you'll see a pub and a patio on your home screen, and then you'll see music and volume, uh, and then volume and mute in the patio. If I click music, then you'll see these sub menus come. So if I select blues, it will play blues, and then I go hit volume, and I can turn the volume up and down. So very simple to label. I've got everything set up ready to go. I've got hardware W1s wired into my walls and I've got uh, wireless iPhones or smartphones used, uh, using ArcWeb to control uh, volume sources in mute uh, anywhere in the restaurant. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something today. If you need more information, call myself, Scott Reggie, call my counterpart who handles the East, Jim Latimer. If you're a consultant, feel free to call Scott Woolley. And of course, everyone, feel free to call our award-winning tech support team. We're all here to help you. Thanks for using Symmetrics.